Is everybody sitting comfortably? This might come as a bit of a shock. I put out a memo on a website. And we sent out a letter to the press, didn't we, Luke? Yes. But oddly, no one seemed to take us seriously. Which is ironic, considering the seriousness of what we do profess. I suppose there are worse ways to receive the news at a theatre in the heart of London town. But not even a musical will save you in a minute when... The rain starts tumbling down. You see, I was minding my own business in the garden, tending to a very modest crockery section in which we plant crocuses and dandelions and the like. Anyway, the next thing I know, I'm channeling this alien from outer space. You see, he picked me to be his personal messenger to bring about the news of the apocalypse. Naturally, I accepted such an honour and went about spreading the news. And I formed this modest little cult here. Hey there. Oh, all right. Since then, I've been in contact with the alien who says the human race deserve to die. I tried to argue back, but he reminded me of pedophiles and genocide. I swiftly wrote upon my Facebook wall to spread the word about the flood. But someone posted back I was a silly bitch. And now you'll choke on your own blood. Welcome to the end of the world, caused by a violent, unrelenting rain. Welcome to the end of the world, you've only got yourselves to blame. It started out as just casual coffee mornings around mine, really, sharing thoughts and finding the latest crop circle locations. But the contact became more regular, so we had coffee meetings and, and well, the group grew. And I started having communications three, four, five times a day. And before long, the aliens, well, they became so fond of us and our good work, they decided to save us, which is a bit rubbish for you. Oh, Shirley, can't we take any of them with us? No, dear, I've told you the ship's full. The aliens have made that very clear, my dears. I know it seems quite harsh and sad, but then Syrian suicide bombers come to my mind and I don't feel quite so bad. Don't be fooled by their angelic faces. We simply don't have room for scum. And theatre goers are largely homosexuals. Who take it up the bomb. And that's wrong. Welcome to the end of the world, my dears. I'm sure you think that we're insane. Welcome to the end of the world, but you've only got yourselves to blame. Right, my children of the apocalypse, align yourselves. Mary, are you ready? Yes, I'm ready, Shirley. Good, that's it. Leslie McKenna, are you ready? Yep, yeah, ready. Ah, my little fighters, good for you. Luke, are you ready? Ready. Good lad, he's always ready. Lavinia, are you ready? I'm ready as I'll ever be, Shirley. Oh, yes, and Richard, are you ready? Richard. Oh, sorry, Shirley, I didn't realise you are in the middle of roll call. Does anybody want tea? Right, tea, Leslie, Michaela, some tea for you. Luke, tea, Mary, two sugars. Right, thank you, Richard. Where were we? Ah, yes. Tonight, comrades, we brave a new frontier. We shall leave this land behind and submit entirely to our powerful leader. Never let the planet Zycron. It won't be long before they get here. We'll board that craft and bid farewell. We'll have a front row seat to what could be described as unimaginable hell. We must not question our leaders. Mankind cannot be cured. We've let the planet go to shit and you can't polish a turd. Welcome to the end of the world caused by a demon rain downpour. Welcome to the end of the world somewhere deep down. You're pretty sure you brought this on yourself. Strike upon this fateful final night just Close your eyes and pray, 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 close your eyes and